Hi, I'm John, and this is the project I've been working on, Battlecrafts, a real-time strategy game that focuses on army control instead of economy. It's kind of like a traditional MOBA featuring large army control and fortress building, so a MOBA combined with a real-time strategy game, um, if that makes sense. So today I want to give an overview uh, uh, underneath the general premise of the game. Um, so instead of like what the game is about uh, or how it's being played, I want to explain how it works, um, what tools I'm using, and more topics that I'll just skim over and explain more comprehensively in later videos. Um, so as you can see here, uh, there's a fight, and um, it's between the two teams, one team on the bottom left and another on the bottom right. And the bottom team got destroyed because um, because the top uh, the bottom drones were attacking the top directly um, or near the tops battlecraft and the tops battlecraft had turrets on it and turrets were are extremely strong um not as mobile or uh or numbered as drones but they're very strong um difficult to destroy so yeah um the foundation of this project is the lockstep framework which is uh powering all the deterministic simulation um and this game um as a multiplayer real-time strategy game it's uh, run with lockstep, uh, a method where um, to network we're sending inputs rather than uh, game state, so everything needs to be the same after uh, simulation. So the simulation on both sides needs to be the same. Uh, a layer above the lockstep framework is forge networking, which transmits the inputs, the player commands, to get everyone running the same input in lockstep. Um, and I actually used to use Darkrift, which worked very well for quickly prototyping the networking logic, but there were some flaws that uh, made me choose Forge instead. So yeah, as you can see, this is an epic battle happening, um, just finishing off and uh, cleaning up. And soon it looks like the top guy will win. I'd like to thank Unique Minds, uh, a very talented art studio, for their work on the drones for this video. And as you can see, um, up close, they're they're very detailed. Yeah, very great work. And then here is Zombie Gazebo, um, a very nice guy I met on the forums. He created these turret sockets, uh, and they look very sharp, um, and they just fit with the theme. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Happy developing.